I think Echo's next tattoo is gonna say, get in bed, stay in bed. <laughs> <laughs> and the number one reason people don't sleep well is because they're worried about not sleeping well, right? Because they hear something like this, I tell them, shift workers die on average 12 to 14 years earlier than their everybody Oof. else because the World Health Organization classifies shift work as a type 2A carcinogen, which is the same thing as cigarettes were, which means we're pretty damn sure this causes cancer, but it would be unethical to test that. Like we can't do research and cause cancer cancer in people. So they hear something like that. And now they're panicked because they're like, well, I work shift work. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die 12 years earlier. So what do I do? Like get in bed for eight hours a night, like mm -hmm. figure out a way to do that. I realize that it's not necessarily 100% possible for 100% of the people, mm -hmm. but do the best you can to do that. Like you'll help people say, oh, you can't go to sleep. Get up and get out of your bed. You don't want to associate your bed without with not sleeping. And so then go sit in the living room and read a book or something and then come back. And when you feel tired, I don't agree. I've been doing this for 12, 13 years now. I don't see any way around the fact that if I get up and read, I'm not doing myself any benefit, right? <laughs> if I lay in bed and meditate, at least my stress hormones are lower. At least I'm getting some non sleep rest now. So just lay in bed. And the only reason that you're going to associate with negative thoughts is if you're stressed out about not sleeping. So if you're not stressed out, you're just going, well, I'm just going to meditate. Like, well, then it's, now it's just a place to meditate and sleep and have sex. Like, mm -hmm. why not? Like, all those are great things.